Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, last week somebody showed me this very cool tool called Power Trim inside of another CAD product called DraftSite. And I was like, what? Power Trim? Who doesn't want a command called Power Trim? And why does an AutoCAD have Power Trim in it? I had total feature envy. Oh, yeah. And then a bunch of people told me, well, technically, you can do a Power Trim in AutoCAD. It just requires extra steps. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do a Power Trim inside of AutoCAD manually this week. Two weeks from now, I'm going to show you how to automate it so it'll be slick and not have nearly as many picks and clicks. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. You're like, it's a Power Trim command. How can Trim be any better than it already is? <laughs> I'll show you. So here's my version of this Power Trim command. You can see I made my own icon with an amazing image, the letter P, and you'll see it says Power Trim, Trim with Superpowers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and all I have to do is move my cursor through the objects that I want to trim out. Ah, I know you want it. I know you want it. I'm going to show you how to get it. Hit an extra enter. Everything's trimmed out. It's a beautiful, lovely thing. That's fast and that's efficient with very few picks or clicks. All right, so I'm going to undo that because you can't automate it unless you know how to do it manually. So let's go into the trim command. And uh, first off, it asks you to select the cutting edges. And if you hit an enter, it makes everything in AutoCAD a cutting edge, even though nothing highlights. It's a little game that AutoCAD plays with this. You just have to believe, like the force. All right, so, and then we're going to, after we selected everything as a cutting edge, we're going to use the fence option. Now, hopefully you're familiar with the fence option. And that allows me literally just to drag my cursor through the objects that I want to trim, just like I was talking about before. Hit an extra enter, and now you have done a power trim, in my view of what a power trim is. Okay, now, I will say one cool thing about the draft site power trim is that you can hold the shift key down and it will do an extend. And you can do that for a lot of things inside of the AutoCAD trim command, but not when you combine it with the fence. Ugh, bummer, so that's unfortunate. So. If I wanna do a power extend, I have to go into a different command. I have to go into the extend command. And same deal, hit an extra enter to select all. What am I gonna do now? F for fence. And then you can have a little extend party. Oh yeah, you can, check it out. This is awesome. Just go crazy, <laughs> extend away. So that would be a power extend. I think you get the idea. Now. Two weeks from now, once again, I'm going to show you how to automate it so it's even fewer picks and clicks, so it's super efficient. I know what you're thinking. What? Another cliffhanger, Lynn. I can't take any more cliffhangers. <laughs> so I'm sure that's what you're thinking. So I will see you back here in two more weeks when we will really amp up the power trim command. All right. See you then.